Hello, I'm Raw Payne and welcome to Raw Payne's Britons vs Bruder. This is round two and today we're going to be looking at the 1 16th scale Land Rover Defender by Bruder. As you can see here on the box it shows you a few other functions that go on around here. Spin it round, there's a different red variant. I didn't actually pick that one up because I preferred the look of this one myself. Um, and then it just shows you a few other parts that are in the line in this Brita series, uh, Bruder series, sorry. So let's take it out of the packaging. I have had this for a couple of months, so it has had a, a good play. Um, and it is a little bit grubby, so I apologise for that. It looks really nice. Um, it definitely looks like the Land Rover Defender. Um, I'm happy with the way that it is. I like having the solid back on it and everything. Uh, the wheels look quite nice with like the alloys that are going on here. Um, this one does have the wing mirrors and they have been sculpted so that this one's um, actually slightly bent compared to that one because obviously this is the driver's side and your mirrors do face different directions so that's a nice touch that they've actually done that and it's not just being bent from being played with. Um, there is in this one a steering wheel on the bottom that just fits into that slot, you pop it out and then on the top here we have a sunroof that slides down and inside there there is a special place to clip the steering wheel into. It can be a struggle sometimes. Uh, there we go, but that's in there. And basically what that does is enables you to steer it from the top, which is really nice. Um, you can actually use this one to make it go where you want it to go. It does turn very far left and right, which is definitely a nice touch. Um, so very happy with that. And obviously if you don't want that in it, you just pop that straight out, close the sunroof, and then obviously if you're having it on a shelf, it still looks the part. So I do like that. It has quite a lot of suspension on this one. So if you turn it, as you can see there, it goes nicely from side to side. And on the back, the suspension is there as well. It's a little bit squeaky, obviously, because the springs in there might need a little bit of an oil. But still, that gives it a little bit more, makes it look a little bit more realistic when playing with it or having it out just fun it does rock from side to side so I do like that there is a tow bar here on the back obviously to connect the trailer and things with this one as well you can buy it in a set and I think it comes with either a cattle trailer or like another JCB or like a mini digger that goes onto the back but it's just a little bit more expensive this one is RRP'd at £30 but you can pick it up for a roughly £21 I haven't seen it anywhere, any cheaper anywhere else, unfortunately. There is a slight problem with this tow bar, though, um, that it rides up. And when it rides up, you can't open the door. Um, and my son, a few times, when he's been pulling it, has actually pulled the door straight off. So you just have to ensure that that's down. Um, if you find that's a constant issue and you're not going to use it, it does just pop off, though. So that does solve the problem. Um, inside, you can, also, you can see that there are four seats in the back which is very nice. The roof hasn't been moulded too well, unfortunately, but I think that just makes it a little bit sturdy with those uh, reinforced bars in the back. So close that up. This wheel does pop off. There we go, just like that. Um, but personally, I've not tried taking these ones off the bottom because I believe that they'll be glued in and as soon as you pop that off, the wheels will just be forever falling off. Lots of nice intricate detail going through here, like all the rivets and screws and the door handle all placed in there. So the moulding that they've done on this is really, really nice. Um, if we quickly show you the lights on the back. Here, these are actually in moulded plastic, which is another nice touch. Obviously, they've not had the problem with the paint running or anything. And then, obviously, the windows are all made out of plastic and up here too. Obviously, none in the window. It just puts the cost up a little bit. Um, spin it round to the front. And the lights, again, are moulded plastic, so that's definitely a nice touch. As you can see, the grill there, it's got like a fanning also moulded in, so that looks nice. It comes with the air intake on the top here. Um, which is obviously realistic to what Land Rovers have. Uh, unfortunately, on this one though, um, it's all these are all stickers, so they're definitely going to come off if you're going to end ramming it through mud and things. Unfortunately, so you can see there, that's a sticker, that's a sticker, and this one here, this one doesn't actually have any um, indicators moulded onto the side, which is a little bit of a shame. These stickers onto the side here are textured. So they are raised, which is a nice touch. It definitely brings it out. Obviously, the handle on the side of the car is actually a moulded piece of plastic. So if we open it up, lots of room in there. It's even got the foot pedals, if we can get in there. 
kind of, you can see in there. Um, the foot pedals and obviously the seats look really nice, steering wheel, the dash looks good. Spin it round to the other side uh, and lots of room again and a bit more intricate detail in there. Um, the underneath, it does show you that the exhaust here is a moulded plastic, um, which is a nice touch again. That they didn't have to do that, they could have just incorporated it all in, but they've definitely made it look more realistic. Uh, as you can see here, this has got slightly bent due to the fact of the door bit trying to be opened, uh, so it has nearly snapped, which is a bit unfortunate. If we had a little bit more of a locking mechanism, that could have kind of been avoided. The side steps are a little bit smaller than on the other one. Um, and it seems to be made out a bit more of a tougher plastic as well so they should last a little bit longer and also on this one here you can clip off it's a little bit difficult sometimes you can clip off the roof rack so if you wanted you could have it just looking like that uh, as you can see though it's a little bit grubby on mine but that definitely changes the aesthetics of it it makes it look a lot different um, you pop the back wheel off and obviously take that off as well and you can make it look different. The air intake doesn't come off unfortunately. Another nice function with this one is that the bonnet does open and you can see inside there there's a little bit of an engine. These again are the uh, textured stickers which is nice to be raised and it does come with a prop bar so that you can actually hold the bonnet open. So I do like the look of this, it's £30, this one is worth £30 and if you pick it up for £21 then it's definitely a bargain. As you might have seen on the box before, um, there is a red one that you can get uh, and this one comes with a like, I think it's a tow bar on the front um, or a wrench not a wrench, what's it called, a winch, sorry, so you can pull things up and back, um, so that's quite nice if you wanted that one in comparison, but on that picture it doesn't show it, so it might be an add-on, um, but I definitely do like this one, lots of playability out of it, um, I think the suspension, if you dropped it too much or gave it a bit of a beating, I think because there's so many moving parts, this could break a little bit, so maybe for an older child, or if you have wanted it, if you're a Land Rover fan and you just wanted it displayed, on your shelf, I definitely like it, it's a nice piece um, and like I say, it fits your men in as well men or ladies, your little figures so definitely happy with that so thanks for watching, I'll see you next time for round 3 where I compare them both together and give you my views on the comparisons so thanks for watching, I'll see you next time